during the presentation, this was a confusing topic, and I wanted to go into a little bit more depth to explain it. So on the previous slide, we saw this diagram, and this shows the different contrast intensity, or how bright things look on the liver uh, during the different phases of circulation. And starting at time equals zero, the IV contrast has not had time yet to begin circulating through. So essentially, this is without contrast. The liver all looks gray and pretty similar. So even if there was a lesion, we may not see it because it'll look the same as the rest of the liver. We inject IV contrast, and now it begins to flow through our arteries. So the first phase is the arterial phase, and we can see that, uh, as expected, the aorta, or the largest artery in the body, fills with the IV contrast during the arterial phase. And we see that the liver gets a little bit brighter, and we see that, in this case, hepatocellular car carcinoma gets very bright. So you can see HCC well on the arterial phase. This arrow here is showing the difference in brightness. So during this arterial phase, the liver is getting brighter here in the red curve, but the HCC is getting really bright. So that's what you can see here, where this hexagon represents the HCC. Then as time progresses, we are sort of ending the arterial phase and getting towards the venous phase. You can see that the liver is still holding on to some of that brightness, but the HCC is already starting to get darker. Noticed here, it's a little darker. Now it, you can't see the difference as well. And then we get into the portal venous phase. So remember, the liver has a dual blood supply. The first part is the arterial blood supply through the hepatic arteries. And then the second part is through the portal vein where all of the deoxygenated blood from the GI tract is now flowing into the liver through the portal vein. And we can see during this portal venous phase that uh, the liver is uh, still holding onto some of the brightness it got from the uh, arterial phase. And the HCC is now even darker here, it's darker. So just reviewing that, no contrast. Now we're in the arterial phase and things are brighter. We can see a big difference between the HCC and the liver. Now we're uh, in between the arterial and the venous phase. The HCC is not as easy to distinguish. And then we get into the portal venous phase and now the HCC is much darker than the liver. So once again, we actually can see a big difference. So in conclusion, for hepatocellular carcinoma, you want to acquire both the hepatic arterial phase and the portal venous phases when you do your CT simulation in order to have the best options to contour liver HCC. And Whoever is doing the contouring can use CT scans taken at each of these phases to make sure that they're covering all components of the hepatocellular carcinoma. Next, let's see how the contrast dynamics look for liver metastases. So once again, when uh, time equals zero, essentially the contrast has not begun circulating yet, so this is uh, the liver looking all the same, all of it is gray, and it'd be very hard to even see or notice where the liver metastases are. And then we get into the arterial phase. The liver is getting a little brighter, and the liver metastases are getting a little brighter as well. But you can see it's still hard to tell the difference too much between this. Um, both got brighter by a pretty similar amount. Now we move on. We're in between the hepatic arterial phase 
and the venous phase. And we can see that at this point, the liver metastases is starting to get darker, whereas the liver is staying bright. And then when we get to the portal venous phase, now, look at this difference. The liver metastases in this blue line is, is dark, and the liver is still relatively bright. And looking at the image, you can now distinguish the metastases compared to the liver. So in this image, the liver metastases are clearly darker than the liver, and you can see it. So just again, time equals zero, Without any contrast, everything looks gray, and it all looks the same. You can't see the metastases. You get into the arterial phase, the liver gets brighter, metastases also get brighter. It's still hard to tell the difference because they both got bright. Then in between the arterial and the venous phase, the metastases are starting to get a little darker, and by the time you reach the portal venous phase, now they're even darker, and now you can see the difference. So in conclusion, for liver metastases, acquire the portal venous phase at CT simulation to be able to see the difference between the liver metastases and the liver and be able to contour liver metastases the best. Hopefully this helps explain the best phases to use when contouring hepatocellular carcinoma the hepatic arterial and the portal venous phase, and when trying to contour liver metastases, use the portal venous phase.